Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here and it's time for part two of the Monday Q&As. So let's get it started. Is your novice program suitable for my brother to start out on at 15 years old? He is keen to get into the gym. Yeah, absolutely. The novice program will be okay, right? If he's 15, it's almost a little young for that hardcore of a progression and that much workload. But I would ease him into it. I would say, though, because he is 15, maybe spend a month or so doing something like starting strength, maybe two months. If you wanted to, to build a base and then put him into the program or start him on it slow. Because the main thing is, is that you're getting into heavy weight relatively quickly and you want to make sure that his body is ready for it because he, he's still a little underdeveloped. So maybe a month or two of training a little lighter or something with a little less volume or just keeping the weight relatively light meaning don't increase the weight every session on it maybe every other session but after a month or two he should be adapted and you can push him into the full program but I don't have a problem with 15 there all right next question what can I do to protect my rotator cuffs they seem to be injury prone all right very simple rotator cuff work with bands all sorts of stuff face pulls band pull aparts around the world just things to strengthen your rotator cuffs up and of course, some of that includes rear delt work, like the band pull aparts and the face pulls. You want to make sure your rear delts are strong because that's oftentimes a weak link in your shoulder joint. And the other thing is performing the movements correctly. I would say in my experience, 90% of issues with rotator cuffs I see in guys who lift is because they don't know how to bench press. They don't know how to overhead press. I've made a lot of videos covering this stuff. You can find basic info online and don't assume that because someone has been working out for 10 years that they know how to execute the movements. Most people don't execute them correctly because they've never opened a basic book on the topic and they learn from idiots at the gym. But remember, elbow tuck, elbow tuck. That's your key. Keeping the bar low on the chest with the bench press, keeping the elbows tucked in tight for overhead press. False grips work well for that. The main thing is, is keeping elbow flare controlled. It's the main thing to preventing rotator cuff injuries. And saying that they're injury prone means you've injured them several times already, in which case you probably shouldn't be consulting someone on the internet. You need a physical therapist because I can't correct your injuries with this advice. This is just injury prevention. If you've already injured them, you might need surgery already. Or you might need special things that you have to do differently because you'll never have them functioning perfectly again. So this is something you need to be talking to a physical therapist about or a surgeon if you have injury prone ones, which means you've injured them multiple times now. You're probably screwed already. So you really need an expert to help you with this. All right, next question. Yo, Jace, during back movements such as rows, is it more beneficial to keep your scapula tightly retracted throughout or protract them during the eccentric motion? Well, if you want to work the full range of motion of the latch, you're going to have to protract them out because you're going to have to put a stretch on the latch, which means your scapula are going to have to pull apart. You can't do the full range of motion on a barbell row or on a chin up or any movement like that with the scapula retracted. You should be reaching scapular retraction at the top and then after that they should be rolling forward and protracting. Otherwise you're doing a half rep and you're not working the muscle through the full range of motion. Now, working it through the full range of motion isn't necessary for optimal development, but it may be necessary for athletic function. So it's something to keep in mind there. All right, guys, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.